Hi, this is Nancy from Life's Blessings and Homeschool, and today we're going to be going through the Singapore Primary Mathematics U.S. Edition 2B textbook and workbook. Now, earlier I did a video about the 2A textbook and workbook, so I'm going to try to link that down in the description box below so you can check that out. I made two separate videos, so I just wouldn't get too long on you, so... Let's go ahead and go into the textbook. And in the first video, I did show you how the textbook correlates with the workbook, so I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna go straight into the flip through. This is the US edition. For those of you who did not watch the 2A video, this is not Common Core. If you want the Common Core edition, they do have the Common Core edition as well. This is the US edition. If I'm going too fast or going too slow, you can change the speed of the video, you can rewind, you can fast forward, however you see fit. I want to thank you for watching this video and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet then I ask that you go ahead and hit that red button give us a big thumbs up if you are enjoying our homeschool videos that lets me know what kind of content that you want to see and it helps YouTube to suggest my videos to others that maybe want to see the homeschool curriculum Like I said in the other video, Singapore is a bit advanced, but you can go to their website at singaporemath.com and see the placement tests that they have to determine where your child is. A lot of times it's not necessary to have your child actually take the placement test, but as moms, we can kind of look at the material and see, you know, where our child is. You can start your child with the 2A and then go into the 2B, or you could start like at the 1B and go into 2A. That would be two semesters as well. So they recommend just starting wherever your child is. So it's not like this is necessarily a second grade level. Your child may be in first grade and going into second grade. This may be perfect, then again, you know, it may not. You may want to start with 1B, and that is totally fine. Pages are kind of wanting to stick together now. Alright, so you kind of get the idea of the 2B textbook. We are nearing the end of this, but this is not the end of the video. We are still going to do the 2B workbook. Like I mentioned in the 2A video, the textbooks are full of color while the workbooks are not, but you could actually have your child color their work page if you wanted to. That could be art for the day. <laughs> if you want to know how the workbook actually goes along with the textbook, how do you know which page? Then go to the 2A textbook and workbook video. I mentioned this at the very beginning of that video. So, like I said, I will try to link that down in the description box below after this video post.
I hope this has been helpful to you as you are trying to find the right curriculum for your child. I know the flip throughs always are helpful to me because I would like to see what I am buying before I actually buy it. And sometimes still it doesn't work out, but it does help. It does help a lot. So what math curriculum are you using for this year? What did you use this year? What are you going to use next year? Let me, do, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Does this look like something you'd be interested in using? Maybe now or maybe in the future? What do you think about the colorful pages versus the black and white? What does your child prefer? I know that my son did really well with the colorful pages, and my daughter did too last year. But I recognize that, you know, a lot of people say that their children do better with the black and white. So, you know, Singapore is a great mix of both. So I, I think this could work for either way. Because even if your child didn't do well with the textbook being all color, you could still like write the textbook information down on the chalkboard and have your child do it that way. There's so many different ways to do this. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be one way. Get creative. Do what's best for your child. That is the beauty of homeschooling. We have that flexibility. Okay, so we're at the end. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and have a wonderful rest of the day. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I invite you to become a part of our YouTube family. If you're already a part of our YouTube family, thank you so, so much. Give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube will recommend this to other homeschool moms. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.